In this video we're going to discuss geometry query and how we can use it to select certain items. This is different from the last video where we used the user selections to make selections for certain things. We're, we're pretty used to user selections. For example, if I hit extrude here, it's going to have the user select certain profiles to extrude. Well, we can also select these profiles just using the code and not using a user to select those. So, for example, we can go through the code, grab this sketch, and then ask the sketch for its profiles, and then select the profile, and then extrude it. So let's go ahead and look at that in the in the help documentation. So I've, I'm here at the help documentation for sketch object. We see here all the different properties of the sketch object. So we can ask the sketch about um, are the dimensions shown. We can ask the sketch about its attributes. We can ask for the sketch's name uh, or its origin point. And one of the things that we'll use most often is the profile. So once we create a sketch, we can ask the sketch for all of its profiles. And then we can use that profile for an extrude. So let's go ahead and look at that in the code. I have a sketch here. And in that sketch, I only have one circle. I've created a circle there. And so then I can go in and grab the sketch, which I have, which is called main circle sketch. So I do main circle sketch dot profiles. So I'm asking the sketch for its profiles. And then I'm just grabbing the very first item in that list. And this is easy because I only have one profile. If I had several circles in the sketch, there would be several profiles, and then it, it would be less clear on which one I need to grab. So it's a lot easier if I just create one, one circle inside one sketch, and then I know that I'm grabbing the right one. So I'm going to grab that profile, and then I'm going to give it to an extrude and use it as an extrude input to create an extrude. Now we're going to go over inputs and extrudes in a, in a later video. But then once I create that extrude, I have a body. And once again, I can use geometry query to ask that body for certain things like its faces or edges. So let's go ahead and look at that in the object model. So if I zoom in here, first of all, let's just go look at the sketches, what we just did. If we have a sketch object, all we are doing is asking that sketch object for its profiles. We could also have asked for its curves or its dimensions and use those for, for other things, so we're selecting those. Now once I grabbed the sketch and the profile, I created an extrude, and so now I have a body. We can do the same thing with these bodies. Through the code and through the object model, I can drill down and grab certain things. So I can come down through the body and ask about its faces, and then I could go down further and ask about its edges, or ask about its points, or any of these things. So let's go ahead and look at that in the code. So once I create my extrude, I have an extrude called main extrude. I just extruded that circle, so now I have a cylinder. So from that cylinder, I'm grabbing the extrude, and I'm asking for its side faces. So the side faces, I know that it only has one side face because it's a cylinder. So I'm going to grab the first thing in, that, in its side faces. And then on the side faces, I know the side face has two edges. So I'm actually going to go from that side face, which I've called cylindrical face, dot edges, dot item, and I'm going to grab the first one and the second one. And then I'm going to pass both of those edges into a fillet and have it have it fill up those edges. So let's go ahead and run this code and see what it looks like in Fusion 360. Here's my little part. Let's hide that first sketch and we'll show the second one. I'm going to back up the part tree here just to, to walk us through this. So first I had a sketch, and you can see that there's one profile here. I grabbed that profile and passed it into an extrude and had it extrude that. Now notice this extrude has several faces. I could have asked this extrude for its end faces, but I asked for its side face, because I know that there's only one, and that made it easy. And then off of the side face, I grabbed two of these edges, and then I had it fill at those. So for example, if I only grabbed one of the edges, or if I, I grab the same edge twice, then we'll see that in Fusion 360, it's only going to create that with one edge filleted. So if we run that again, we'll see that only one of the edges was grabbed and used as a selection. So using the API, instead of the, the user to select things, we can just use the API to grab certain things off of bodies or from sketches and we'll learn more about using a profile to create an extrude in the next video but it's very useful 
to do geometry query just through the code.